Hi guys, welcome to the channel Practical Reefer. My name is Mark as always. Now today I'm going to show you how to make DIY frag tiles um, just using standard cement um, and some dry coral sand. Now the difference with these little tiles, they're just little square ones. Now we'll be making these using some egg crate or frag rack basically. This is the all pond solution stuff. So what's a little bit different than that is that every four squares there's a deeper section and then there's a, a shallower section so I'll show you what I mean so using that egg crate um, to mold them we end up with basically a square but then it also has a sort of grid underneath the four squares so they can potentially be snapped down later if you've got something that's encrusted and grown over so the plan is in the reefer um, I can just pop that back in there that one um, is to, or possibly in the sump of the reefer or a frag tank, um, is to fill a frag wrap with these, have some possibly zoas or something growing on one of these tiles, and then for it to spread out onto the other tiles. Um, you could do it with almost anything, I suppose, that, that would encrust or grow over a surface. So this has just got a few in just now, just as an example, but I could put a, a tile in here with a coral on it, tile in here, and then it would start to grow over the other ones, remove the tiles, replace with a, a clean one. Um, so that's the plan. We'll start with, I'll go into my garage, or it's an old shed, basically. Um, go into there, we'll mix up the cement, the coral sand, and a little bit of water to make our, our mixture. Now, the cement is just standard cement, so you could use grey Portland cement, or it's Hanson, I think is the, the brand that I've got. Um, it's just a white cement, just so it looks white, although grey wouldn't make much difference, it would just look a different colour. Um, white just seems to be the preferred if you're doing something like this. So we'll do that, obviously we'll mix that up, we'll let that set um, and then we'll pop them out of these moulds and get them ready and then after that we will need to do some more work to them to make them safe to use in the, the reef tank um, just so they don't affect the pH. So we'll get the, we'll show you, I'll show you the mixture um, or how I, I make them up um, and then we'll come back after and we'll look at curing these tiles and getting them ready to use in the reef tank. So. Let's go and have a look at them getting made and then we'll come back. So guys, as I said, I'll be using the, the All Pond Solutions egg crate there. I am going to be using that for my moulds. Um, and I'm also using the, it's Fish Keeper in Scotland, I think it gets called Maidenhead Aquatics down in England and Wales and such. Um, so it's the AS6021, which is a, a coarser grade. And then it's the AS6020, which is a really, really, really fine grade of sand. Um, so in the first batch I'm going to use one scoop of each, the coarse and the fine, and one scoop of cement and a little bit of water. Um, and on the second little batch I'm going to try just two scoops of the, the finer grade in the scoop there and see how that comes out. So we'll get this mixed up, we'll get them into the moulds and we'll see what they come out like in a couple of days. So guys, there we have it. Um, I literally just used a, an old spoon. So there's the, it's about 50 or 60 tiles there with the, the mix of the coarse and the fine grade. And there's, I think 60 there, but just the, the fine. So we'll see how these dry and we'll come back in a few days. So guys, 24 hours later, everything's dry. Um, so this is the, the coarse and the fine mix. Now what we'll do um, is try and push out these tiles. So we'll start with basically put a thumb on two of the squares and then just go from side to side until it pops out. So start with the top there and then the bottom and then the top and back to the bottom. And there we go, that's a tile out. And this is the, the fine grades, so this is all the fine sand. So this one here will go top two, bottom two, and then just basically work it out. Try and, so as not to push from one corner and have it snap like I did the previous one. And there we go. And there's a frag tile and then again that can just sit back into there when it's in the tank sorry and that's us so we'll get these all popped out and we'll have a look at them so guys there we have it not quite there these aren't quite ready to put in the tank yet i've got around about 50 of each there's about 60 of the the fine sand only with the cement and about 50 of the mix of the fine and the the coarse so i'll quickly show you them just a little bit closer up um so the mix of the, the fine and the coarse, obviously you can see there's a bit more uh, texture to them there. 
maybe a little bit too much cement it's kind of all thingy down where you probably don't need quite as much as that as maybe a slightly rich mixture and then this is the fine sand only um, so quite a nice texture on there for the coral scrawn on and perfect for the bottom you will snap some of these popping them out of the mould so I do have a few there that um, just because they, they sit very tightly in they sometimes do snap however if you maybe want to frag something that's encrusting this later on you can break that apart so I might never need to frag those again um, so yeah that's in there I do have some other ones that I made quite a bit uh, longer ago last year which I've had cured already which we'll talk about in a minute these ones were probably closer to maybe two and a half to three scoops of sand to cement something to tweak while you're doing it i would always recommend making a small batch of these first with just a couple of scoops um let them set and cure them or let them set and then pop them out of the molds and see how they turn out before you go and make a, a full production um and go and make hundreds of them because it doesn't take much of the mixture to make i mean those there were like Kind of the, quite large scoops it was like a protein scoop but two scoops of the sand and one scoop of the cement made me like 50 of the tiles um so it makes quite a lot but i'd probably make a little run first and just give it a test and see how they set um obviously different brands of cement might be a little bit different and obviously different sands uh, coral sands might work, work a little bit differently um so i would do that now these are not ready to use in a reef tank yet um they're not reef safe as such now obviously this is just cured cement and aragonite or coral sand so what you need to do and um, this is based off of um esoc and ultimate reef who made diy live rock now to do that obviously if you made a, a full scape out of diy live rock which would involve oyster shell coral sand and cement you would then have a massive amount of rock in your tank that will raise your ph so might not be so much of an issue for your frag tiles. I'll explain this net in a minute. Um, but certainly I will do it with the frag tiles um, just the same because I don't want to be raising the, the pH too much in the tank. I want to keep it stable. So what he suggests doing is to put the, the DIY live rock, obviously we're doing frag tiles here, a little bit smaller scale, is to put that in a container of water and refresh that as often as possible. And the easy way to do it, because we're just doing small frag tiles, is this is just um, good old British red onions. Um, so this onions came in this, um, and obviously this was just destined for the bin, as I kept a couple of these, and I put the tiles in. And one thing to make sure in the method I'm going to say is to make sure you don't have any of the blue toilet blocks or bleach or anything like that in your system. Um, the basically the, the back box of your toilet which all your uh, water for flushing it comes from drop these in there and um, leave them in for 8 to 12 weeks just to make sure that they're uh, cured and they're not leaching anything that will raise the pH, pH of your tank and then you're good to go get them out dry them off and um, store them and then you can start using them later so my intention later on is to fill up some of these racks I'll pop up a picture actually showing how I've got these. I've already made these uh, little frag racks um, which I had in the sump when it was dry um, just to test it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to grow some zoas in the sump just as a little experiment and I'll just show you what I mean. Now, I've had one of these tiles um, sitting in a tank for quite a while just to see what it was like if the, the zoas would grow over them. So guys this is the, the frag tile I'm on about there. I only had a couple of polyps of the, the eagle eye zoanthid on it and it's grown quite well. It's grown over there. I'll just try it get a bit of focus on it now what i didn't do at the time is this was just popped on a, a sandbag or onto a, a piece of rock is that you can see it's starting to grow over the the edge of the tile there so in the scenario that i plan to use it in there will be i'll just pop this back into water is that there would be two tiles butted up against each other and as something like a zoa starts to grow over it would then grow into the tile next to it and then later on i can remove different tiles and replace them and maybe sell some frags or something like that or swap with other reefers um, and start uh, you know grow my zoanthids there it's also partly for me to keep a copy of or a copy or a, a frag of different zoas that i've got because i know if i start a big zoanthid garden some are going to overgrow others and i'm going to lose some zoas eventually so it's a good way to keep a, a little copy or a duplicate um, or a frag basically of different zoas that i've got so I hope you enjoyed the video guys, I hope you found it useful, it might be, uh, it might be something for you guys to try is to make your own little uh, DIY frag tiles. Obviously I've used a very specific mould to sit onto a frag rack 
and basically make a flat shelf to grow corals over. Obviously you can make frag plugs or frag discs or anything like that. Just use a different mould. You can either use sand to mould it or you can make a mould it with like silicon or something like that. So different ways of doing it but that's just a, an option for you. Um, hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to give me a like and a little comment below. What do you think of this idea? Have you made DIY frag tiles or DIY live rock before? Um, let me know in the comments down below and I'd like to thank all my new subscribers um, and all my subscribers. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll catch you all next time.